Well, hello, Pisces. <laughs> Welcome to Sin the Moon Goddess channel. We're here today, Pisces, to do your mid June. All right. I hope you paid attention to the first part of June, which said you always protected and divinely directed. <laughs> All right, now we got some more notes for this mid-June for you, Pisces. All right, so give me a moment. Thank you, Spirit. Give me a moment. Oh, we need the advice. Thank you. Okay, advice. All right, thank you. All right, all right. Now, if you have not watched the first part of June, that means you haven't subscribed. So you need to subscribe to Send the Moon Goddess channel by hitting that button right next to you right with our logo. Okay? Hit that button, subscribe, and you will know when we upload each and every video for Pisces. And don't forget to give us a like, Pisces, and share the video. You can share it on your social media. Now, Pisces, they're telling you to stay focused and committed. Again, they want you to know for you to stay focused and committed. It's time for movement, okay? You have dreamed, you have manifest your big dreams. Now it's time for you to go forward, okay? You are walking into your abundance, all right? But you must stay focused, stay positive, only good energy, okay? For some of y'all, love do awaits you, especially if you're single, okay? You must believe, Pisces. Again, you must believe. And once you do, watch the universe open up for you. All right? See, I'm telling you that you're already seeing. Things, things that you dream, okay, they want you to dream big. They want you to manifest big. Yes, because it's coming. And stand on it. Okay? Whatever it is, go for it. I, <laughs> go for it. I can't say it again. In the first part of your video, they're telling you you're, you're protected. Okay? So you need to go for your goals. And, and, and you might be doing that now by listening to it. But, yeah. It's a lot of adventure coming your way. <laughs> I just want to let you know that we ain't got to that part yet, but they letting me know. It's, a, it's some things you're going to have to do that you're going to have to come out of, out, of your, out of your comfort zone. Okay? So it's, it's like some old habits. You're going to have to let go. <laughs> you're going to have to let go of some old habits and, and start some new habits. OK, um, you might have to start saving money, saving more money, watching your budget. OK, because you are about to get abundance, but uh, 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 you got to you got to start with self. That's what they saying. To me. OK, you do have that magic wand, Pis Pisces. So they want you to go in confidence. I'm here and I'm here in confidence. Con mm. Confidence. Pisces. This is your card. Okay? So you're about to come in abundance. But you do have to walk in confidence. Some of your old habits you got to let, let go of. You got to stand up for yourself. Stand up for your dreams that you want. Things, things that you want to go after. Uh, so what have you tried it before? This time it's going to work. Okay? Because see, I... I I see you walking into abundance. All right. They saying to stay focused though. See, you might be going back to your old habits and not staying focused on your dreams. 
But if you stay focused, they, you will have abundance. Okay. A new chapter. See, you're leaving all the old behind you. So they don't want you to pick up those old habits. Stay with your new and you will see abundance. What did they say? They said for you to believe Pisces and watch, watch the universe open up for you in abundance. But you got to stay focused. It's time to celebrate. Yes. Know that your, your intuition is on key. It's, it's, it's telling you, so trust it and believe. Mm. Some of y'all, somebody wants to get married. They're going to let you know very, very soon. Maybe it's your soulmate. Uh, it could be definitely a Libra. It's coming your way. Uh, they in love with you. Or it could be a Gemini. Yes. Or Scorpio. Scorpio. So I got my hands in it. Mm. This also could be a Virgo that's coming. But Spirit wants you to make sure you love on you first. And, and, and only do what you want to do. Uh, you got to do what's best for you. You got to love on you. Because remember, this is this is your your new chapter. Don't bring up the the old habits. OK. Mm. You is something or someone you're going to have to let go of because they keep saying uh, this is the new you don't don't bring in the old old habits or it could be a old person okay they want you to uh, right now some of you need to be focusing on you others i don't know something it's definitely a new chapter for you a winning chapter for you you just have to hold on some of you might be uh, wishing for a trip. I do see a trip. I, I do see travel for you. Okay, coming up very soon. And um, Spirit is saying to open up your heart and let the universe in. See, that goes back to what they were saying. You have to believe. You got to choose to believe that your goals can be met. You got to choose to believe that you deserve love. That you deserve love. A happy marriage. Mm -hmm. And you truly got to believe in your intuition because it's on, it's, it, your intuition is very strong. If your intuition is telling you someone is jealous of you or um, believe it, I'm just saying believe it. I'm not going to go no fuck. Okay. It could be a loved one. It could be a friend, a long time friend. Okay. Your intuition, like I said, is on point this this right now is very strong. All right. There is someone who, who really want to nurture on you, who wants to provide for you, who, uh, who want to start gifting you. Mm, is it that Scorpio? The Scorpio? Yes. They want to provide for you, but it doesn't seem like that's what you want. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I do see you having a good time. You might want to stay single, Pisces. You want to hang out with your friends. Have a good time. This right now, this is making you happy. So go for it. That's what the that's what life is all about. Okay? Don't do what, what everybody else wants you to do. Do what Pisces wants you to do. 
And right now, I do see you moving in into happiness and using your your intuition. And your intuition is going to guide you straight to your happiness. I'm telling you, if you listen to it. Thank you. All right, budget. It's time for you to start budgeting, Pisces. Um, I'm hearing um, money is. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to have a new budget, Pisces. You you're gonna have to. Mm, you're gonna have to have to have a new budget, or you're gonna you're gonna end up broke. <laughs> Your partner might um, might be spending too much, or is it you? Okay, yeah, Pisces. So watch your budget. Be very strict when it comes to budget, especially if you marry. Okay, watch your budget. Yeah. Now, if you watch your budget the rest of this month, you're gonna you're gonna have you're gonna be rewarded. Then then that's when you're gonna see more money coming in, and also you're gonna you you could plan for that trip that you want. Yeah, I see you want to travel. Wow, I see some of y'all. Might have two. <clears throat> we ain't talking about money no more. <laughs> I see some of y'all might might have two. What y'all doing? If this is you, Pisces. Yeah, you better watch out. Your family might get involved, or either if you marry, please, Pisces, watch out. Some of you, uh, I see, might be planning a wedding. Maybe there's family chaos. Think things is gonna clear up. Things are gonna clear up. Spirit is saying, don't forget to pray. You know, a family that prays together stays together. So you <clears throat> you and your partner need to, to start praying together. Okay, things might be a little rough right now. Like like around the 9th, 10th, the 11th of the month. But things are going to get better. There will be some celebrations coming up. Um... Maybe you're saying it's hard to, to stick to my budget, but um, Spirit saying you're going to have to stick to your budget. If you stick to your budget, more thing, more money is going to come your way, your goals. So you got to, it's like you have a budget, but you're not sticking to it every month. See, some of y'all career goals, um, Yes, you're gonna maybe you're gonna learn a new job. It's gonna bring in more money, but the money hasn't came yet. Or your higher ups are looking at you, saying, "Yeah, um, Pisces is working hard. We need to give them a raise." I do see you getting more money, but it's not yet. That's why they're telling you to watch your budget now. Okay. Yeah. See, it's coming. But it's not here yet. All right. So that's why they're telling you to watch your budget. Watch your coins. Especially if you're planning a trip, Pisces. All right. Is there anything else? This is the last round for Pisces. That trip. <laughs> yes Pisces a lot of adventure is coming your way okay 
you are, um, whatever you planning for your future, you are, if you put action towards it, it's, it's, it's coming towards you. All the things that you, you're looking for, especially your career. Okay. You shooting for the stars. That's what, what the universe wants. So if you believe, if you believe, watch the universe open up for you. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I am sin. The moon goddess. And I'm out.